You know, Matthew says, Jesus came walking to them on the water. Now, I need you to get that this is simply an eyewitness account. This is not inspired scripture. Matthew is in the middle of a storm. It's dark outside. So he can't even get the full picture. He's just giving you his best description of what he sees. But one scholar, Malcolm, says something that blew my mind. He says what Jesus does here is simply a reset of what he did at creation. Remember the Bible says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and that the earth was dark and void and without form and how the Spirit of God hovered above the water. No, y'all didn't get it. The Bible says that the Spirit hovered above the waters. So understand that the Spirit that hovered above the waters wasn't necessarily the Holy Spirit. It was Jesus without a body. So in the beginning, Jesus hovered above the water. How do I know it was Jesus? John says, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. And the Word became flesh. And the Word dwelt amongst us. And so Jesus simply does with a body what he did at creation without a body. So I don't believe that Jesus is walking on water. I believe Jesus hovers above the water so that when Jesus speaks the word, the word doesn't settle beneath the waves. The word hovers above the water just like it did at creation. So I don't even believe Peter's feet get wet. What do you mean, pastor? Because when Jesus says, come, he wasn't walking on the water. He was walking on the words of Jesus Christ. It is the word that sustains him. It's the word that holds him up. It's the word that gives him balance. It is the word that keeps him. Watch this, old saints, that the words of Jesus become Peter's bridge over troubled water. Hallelujah!